Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do just another plastic gen unboxing. So here we have a pretty neat little package from a fellow blader and good friend. So I would like you to check out his channel. It's The Bay Handler and what he does is he takes a lot of old gen Beyblades that we all love so much and he restores them so he does bay restoration and you can see a lot of that on his channel and honestly i love that i love uh, when you care so much about the old products to yeah kind of to restore them to bring them back to glory and that is something i really appreciate and would like you guys to check his channel out he's really really cool dude and he has a lot of awesome content Okay, without any further explanation, let's get to this little package over here. Now, okay, let's wrap this open. Because we both did a trade and my package is on his way as well. And I'm pretty damn hyped about what is inside this. Okay, let me pour this out. Whoa, a lot of parts, a lot of parts. Here we go. Okay, seems about everything. Okay, <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that. Oh, I have no idea what to do first. Um, let me check this out. Okay, well, this is quite a lot of stuff. Um, I will organize this a little bit and I will be back in a minute. Okay, here we go. I've laid out everything part by part and we will go over this real quick. And I'm um, so hyped, honestly. These are so many cool, great parts. Um, so first of all, we have a Drasil Fortress attack ring and the blade base. I really like that because I do not own a single, um, yeah, <laughs> original colored Drasil F, which is pretty cool. So now I can build one. Okay, next up we have a Dronzer S base. So I'll probably just reapply the stickers and then I do have um, the Phantom Force attack ring so I can make a complete Dronzer S. Still don't have the original color, so that is really, really cool. We have a Dragoon v2 bit chip which is colored golden and we will come back to this a little bit later then we have a um hayate or whatever this is called attack ring so this is supposed to be really good in left spin smash attack so we'll definitely test this out never own this but it looks really cool we have a galsley same thing, I do have the Metal Masters version of that, but I do not own the original colored one. We have a Galman sub attack ring, mine broke, so it's really cool to have another one that I can probably paint pink. We have a Galleon, and actually I wanted this one to paint it uh, pink to make a Galax, because this has such a bright color. However, I really like it, and now I don't really want to paint it. Okay, we have a Phantom Force version of Galleon and the Guardian Trigger version of War Lion, which is not part of um, Galleon, but Guardian Trigger. And the same with this clear blue one and the base. So he gave me bo both parts so I can build Guardian Trigger. I do have another Beyblade that comes in a transparent color so I can add the spin gear and the base clips. Then we got a, um, this is a fake um master dragoon um but it has a really cool red color or is it fake it is it looks about it yes uh but i knew that so that's definitely no problem um just wanted to have that because of the color maybe i will do a custom with that because um you know there's uh, a bat Beyblade in the first season that is almost or that almost resembles Master Dragoon. Maybe I will do that as a custom one. Then we got that is that is awesome. Look at this. This is a Uriel 2 attack ring. Really, really cool. 
So I do have a spare base. And I also got the over attack support parts. So let me put this together. By the way, I won't close the, um, it's really cool to have these support parts. I won't close the little, yeah, um, these little holders because they break off so easily. And we could attach the, ah, that's so nice. Look at this. Never Uriel to one of my favorite Beyblades of all time. Cool. So let's have this sit here. Um, we also have some Dragoon V2 support parts I'm still missing. Might use these to paint them um, golden to represent the over attack SPs because these break so easily. Wanted to 3D print them. I have to do that at some point, but maybe I will do these first, um, paint them gold, and then use them um, for my combo. We did get a Uriel 1 base. Mine broke. If you remember the video, the Koro Koro exclusive video against the Silver Dragoon V. So there the base broke. It's very nice that he had a spare one for me. Also this very cool um, BBA Championship Trigal 1. I love these recolors. Same with the Hyperblades Master Dronzer base. Um, we have a Dragoon G base. It's also pretty neat to have. And a Dronzer GT base. This is just the top part. But I will um, try to get on another piece and then I will use that to do my custom Trigator G. So here I already have the parts for my Trigator from my last unboxing. And I will use this attack ring, uh, which I will paint and then uh, use a custom base, which I will also paint for my Trigator G. And last but not least, what is really interesting about all of this, um, yeah, this big Beyblade lot are these attack rings. So these are the serial attack rings um, that are pretty hard to get for me. I think they were only released in the US. I'm not quite sure, but I haven't seen these around. So we have this green four-sided one that, yes, yeah, kind of reminds me of... Um, Seal. So these are exclusive to Kellogg's, it says. Um, has a sparkly green, it looks really good. Um, a silver three-sided one. Um, a red one, which could fit into the Manta, Manta Crab and Orca Dive line. Um, a five-sided blue one. This little one with the stars, which is pretty cool. And the same one in transparent color. I've never seen before. So awesome. Um, and I will use these to do custom Beyblades and Bay Handler will help me out to um, make some stickers for these. So there are some spaces here and there um, which you can put some stickers and that would look pretty cool on custom Beyblades. So that is it. I want to say Thank you so much for this trade. It is really cool to do these things. We all love Beyblade and it's so nice to share all the things we have. Um, <laughs> and I'm really, really happy um, to get all these parts. Really love that. Um, I hope you will get your package soon and I hope you will be as uh, happy as I am with the stuff that is inside. And that should be it for this video. So stay tuned for any more customs that I will do. I will show some of the parts that I've assembled like Galleon 2G and so on. And that's it. Till next time, guys. See ya.